Are you looking for a free self-hosted analytics platform to grow your business? Let's discover Umami, a powerful open source alternative to Google Analytics that helps you collect, analyze, and understand your website data. With a user-friendly interface packed with useful features, Umami makes it easy to gain clear into your traffic. It's simple to set up, integrates effortlessly, and gives you everything you need to grow with confidence. To start using Umami, you can use their free hobby cloud version, up to 100,000 events per month, and three websites, or up to 1 million events with the pro version at $20 per month. You can self-deploy it by following the installation guide from their documentation. For an even simpler installation process, you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy it seamlessly on your server or the cloud provider of your choice. We handle the installation, backups, updates, and ongoing maintenance, so you can focus on building and scaling your project without any hassle. To install Umami on our platform, head to ls.io and click on Login. Then deploy my first service. In the search bar, type Umami and select. Choose between the different cloud providers, regions and service plans based on your need. Once done, press the next button. On this screen, you can adjust more advanced settings and select your level of support. I will keep the free included one by default. When you're all good, hit the Create Service button. Once the installation is finished, you will receive this email. Follow the click here to get the password link. You will arrive on Elestio administration dashboard for your Umami instance. Copy the password to your clipboard here. The username is admin and we can access our instance by following the link. Let's connect, type admin and paste the password from your clipboard, then login. We arrive on the dashboard, but for the moment it's quite empty as we don't have any websites configured. Just before doing it, on the top right, we can adjust if we want to switch from light mode to dark mode and to choose between different languages. I will stick to light mode and English and let's configure our first website. Go to settings, then add a website. You need to type a name for your website. I will choose demo Elestio and type your domain name. I will use a tested domain I have, then save. Once created, we need to add the tracking code on our website. To get access to it, we need to do edit. From here, we have the details and we can update the name and domain if ever we did a mistake and access the tracking code. Simply copy it with the copy button here. Then in your code editor or CMS, here I'm using AppDrag CMS, you will need to place some HTML code with the script. I will choose insert HTML before end of body and simply paste the tracking code and save. Now let's try to open the website once to see if it's working. I shouldn't notice any difference here, it's just to see if the tracking is working. Let's go back to Umami and click on the view button. We arrive on the analytics for our website. You can see it's named Demo Elestio. It loaded the favicon of my website and we can see one view, one visit and one visitor at 8 a.m. Yes, I'm recording videos very early. Let's see if I click on the different buttons to load different pages on my website. Oh, I think it's just buttons. Maybe I can reload the page to trigger different page views. Back to Umami, we can see we have four page views while we still only have one visitor. So it correctly identified me. From this dashboard, we can see the different pages that have been opened me it's a landing page so we only have the index.html we have the preview page for the non-published version of my website maybe i can try the non-preview one all right and here what do we get five views and we have a split between the preview and the published version perfect we don't have a referrers as I open the website directly from the tab bar. And we have a nice graph over time, which here is not very useful as I only started to use it a few minutes ago. And we have different filters based on today, last 24 hours, this week, this month, all time or even a custom range. This is to get a nice overview of your website. Then let's go to the events section. This is to know what our users are doing. At the moment, we only got page views and zero events. If we look in the activity, we can see all the different page views. 
But to get events, we need to add some tracking code to track the different events we want to track on our website. Umami documentation is very well made and you will get all the information and details you need to get started. Here, track events, we can use different ways to do it. Using data attributes, let's say we have a button, sign a button, we simply need to add the attribute data, umami event, and the event name. Here is an example, sign up button, and you can use different attributes. Umami event, it's what they are doing here, and you can add extra data, event email, event ID. These are additional properties. This is the simplest way and what we will do, but you can also use JavaScript. On-click, umami track, and you pass the extra data. All right, let's get data umami event. If I go to my page builder, I will add some event when we press the add to cart button. I need to go to identification to be able to add attributes to my button. It might be different if you are using another CMS or if you are coding it directly. Me, it's this way, custom attributes, data umami event. I will simply choose add to cart. We can add extra data, event email or ID, but I will skip it. All right, I can save my attributes and save the page. Now on the website, I can click on add to cart. Maybe it's better if I open the inspector and the network tab, network here, and then add to cart. You can see we got a call to send with the different data. Back to Umami, we get one event. And if we go here, we can see triggered event add to cart. You can see we have an avatar here. It's to get the user data. You can see everything that I did on the website. And by default, we don't get its name. We get the ID, some extra data, the country, the OS, the device, and the browser. If you want to identify your user, you will need to use the session data with umami.identify and add all the different details for your user. But it's only if you get user data. For me, it's a landing page website where I don't know the email or the name of my users. So no need to do it. We have seen the overview and the events and user sessions. Let's see what is real time. It's like what we had on the overview, but with more extra data. First, it's in real time. So every event will be added as soon as it happens. Then again, you have the referrers and the different activities. And if you scroll down, you can see the different countries and a world map with the different countries involved. A good way to monitor your website traffic in real time. And you also have compare. In this scenario, it will be a bit complicated as we just connected our website and don't have real traffic. But you can see that you can compare a period to another one. So you can say, let's take this week against the previous period or the previous year. And by default, it's comparing based on all the traffic, but you can add different filters, for example, the URL to select for one specific page or the referrer to see if the traffic of YouTube or Google Ads is better now than the previous period. It's very easy to set up and way more user-friendly than Google Analytics. And last tab about a website is the reports section. Let's hit new report. And from there, you can create different type of report to get a clear overview of how your website is performing. You have insights, funnel, retention, UTM, goals, journey, and revenue. Let's choose retention, create. You can rename it user retention. You select the website you want to create the report. For us, we only have demo Elestio and the date. Okay, run query. And for now, it's not very visual because we only have one visitor on one day. But let's say you have hundreds of visitors or thousands. And you can see if your users are coming back day after day or not. And based on your type of business, it can be a very useful metric. All right, let's save this report and create another one. Let's choose create report goals. Let's name it daily add to cart on Elestio. The date range will be last 24 hours or today. And let's define our goal. We want the event to be add to cart. And every day we want at least 10 add to cart. Let's add it, run the query. And we can see that the progress of our daily goal is now one on 10, while we want 
10 add to cart per day. Let's save it. And then if we go to our reports, we have our list of different reports. Unfortunately, if we go to dashboard, I didn't find a way to add our reports while it could be very useful to have everything in one screen. I hope it will come with the different updates of Umami. Then you have the settings. From there, you can invite your different team members and then create teams, create team. Let's name it demo website team, save. And then inside it, you can adjust the different members that will have access to specific websites. Very useful to control who has access to what. As always, when you try the software, I recommend you to have a look at the documentation to discover features I didn't present in this video that can be very useful for your specific use cases. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed discovering Umami with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, watch this video available here.